Today I want to talk about a big new Nintendo Switch game sale going on currently and you might notice I didn't say the words eShop because this is entirely tied to physical games primarily from Amazon many of which are discounted first party Nintendo Switch staple classics that I think a lot of people need within their library even some more recent releases so we'll break down all of the best games to potentially pick up if they're not in your library already and go over the discounted price versus the standard regular price before we do make sure you like subscribe and turn on your bell notification to join summer nation if you're new here and with that I want to quickly hop over to Deku deals where you can see a collection of the various different discounts that are available as part of this sale I would like to point out I will have this linked in the description down below and if you go to each said discount that you see on the main screen it will actually show you a list of every retailer sell selling the said game but which ones have the discount and again as mentioned Amazon seems to be the main culprit here with a lot of the numbers that we will be going through today and keep in mind these are all primarily for physical game sales outside of there's probably a couple that are discounted that maybe you can just pick up the digital code for uh, but nothing at the very top of the list other than salt and sanctuary i will quickly mention that is a steal of a pickup for 4.99 that is a really cool 2d take on like a souls like game super difficult bosses really cool dodge roll slash parry focused combat i had a ton of fun playing through that and this one in particular is actually on sale on the eShop. so one exception to the rule of this mainly being for physical games as it's 75 percent off 449 as part of a nintendo switch eShop sale which is going on nino kuni 2 also 9.59 instead of 59.99 and you might notice in this in this deku deals website and just a quick shout out to them they actually track the lowest price ever so you can see if it's the first time or the lowest it's ever been discounted to in the game's history compared to if it's matching a previous low or if maybe it's just kind of more of a standard sale that doesn't have that tag it means it may have been sold at a lower price once upon a time so um blue fire not very familiar with that game 4.99 but the first big first party Nintendo game that you know you just should own at this point as a Nintendo Switch owner if you like 3D action adventure platformers at all and that is none other than Super Mario Odyssey I mean so much fun 3D platforming at its finest really cool levels really cool layout gameplay style Mario with Cappy of course being able to take on numerous forms you're a dinosaur you're a Goomba you're everything in between after talking about Mario Galaxy 2 the other day on the channel it actually makes me want to get back through some of the classic 3d mario games i haven't played in a while and mario odyssey well it's been long enough because it's hard to believe but we are fastly approaching seven years from that game's original release date so 40 bucks right now instead of 60 definitely pick that one up most switch owners or a large chunk of them do already own mario kart 8 deluxe but if you don't go ahead and figure out why over 60 million copies of this game have been sold there is now 96 playable courses with the booster course pass which that does not come with this at that 39.99 price but if you are a nintendo switch online plus expansion pack member or if you're somebody who wants to just purchase an additional 24.99 expansion pass to get all those courses i definitely recommend that i think it adds so much value to the game so much fun and replayability and that is also on sale at, at Amazon for the $39.99 as most of these next discounts that we're talking through will be the Amazon price points the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild a must own for every Nintendo Switch owner just make sure you play this one first before you play through Tears of the Kingdom which funnily enough is actually on this list a little bit later make sure you go through Breath of the Wild first I don't know what it would feel like to play those games in reverse but if you play Breath of the Wild first it is the most amazing open world Zelda adventure really carving out a new era for the formula of 3D Zelda and I can't say enough positive stuff about it. There's two different DLC packs and a ton of content that you're going to be able to dive into and have fun with. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze next up. Just talked about Donkey Kong the other day on the channel. Where is DK in 2024? Well, it's 10 years since his last major first party outing from Nintendo in terms of a mainline franchise installment. And we're still waiting on what the future holds. But if you want maybe one of the most challenging and also rewarding 2D action adventure platformers ever, this could be indeed that game. It is definitely a good pickup at 40 bucks. I think 60 seems a little bit steep at this point in time, but pick that 
that one up for your Nintendo Switch library if you don't already own it. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the evolution of the 3D, new type of 3D formula for Kirby games. This is the best selling Kirby game ever, and rightfully so. It has got a banger soundtrack. It's got great level design. It's got really cool boss fights. Starts off a little bit on the easier, simple side, but does ramp up in difficulty with particular boss fights actually giving me a run for my money. I thoroughly enjoyed Kirby and the Forgotten Land and would highly recommend it to any Nintendo Switch owner. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Uh, this is actually a lot of fun. It is a very close design to the other New Super Mario Bros. games. So like if you played New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii and then the DS and 3DS installments, like the level design, the characters, everything really feels one to one. But I do think that this is the best looking one by far and has some really good enjoyable levels as well. And if you're someone who came in through the wonder side of things, but maybe you want to go back and experience some of the older 2D Mario games, I think that Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is a ton of content for a $40 price point. Continuing on our list, Unicorn Overlord is $39.99. Now, this is a big deal and the lowest price ever because this game just came out super recently. So the fact that you can pick up the physical version, you can actually grab this one from either Amazon, Best Buy, or GameStop at $39.99 right now. So that is definitely good for a very recent release. I have heard very good things about this game online, though I have not checked it out myself, but definitely do so at that $40 price point. Super Mario RPG is currently being sold for its lowest price ever at $49.38. That is an 18% discount, and you probably remember this launching towards the end of last year on the Nintendo Switch. It is a remake of the classic SNES Super Mario RPG and The Legend of the Seven Stars. I love how you can do things like switch between the old soundtrack and the new soundtrack on the fly. The game looks beautiful. It really did a lot to preserve the original essence and feeling of the first game, but give it a modern coat of paint and some of the quality of life enhancements that you would like to see. And if you're someone who wants to keep up with all of the Mario RPG game love we've seen recently, get this one, play through it, and then look forward to of course, Thousand Year Door coming out later in May this year. Love to see all of the support for the Mario RPG series from Nintendo, and it is exciting time to maybe add that one into your collection. Immortals Phoenix Rising is matching its lowest price ever, which is $8.99. That is a good game for that price point, under 10 bucks. Dead Cells is a game I had a lot of fun with. $12.49 right now, Metroidvania roguelike type of game, and a lot of fun in terms of the combat, the exploration, the world, everything that it has to offer. $7.99 right now for Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. It matches its previous low of all time, and that is actually going on as part of the eShop sale, so you can pick up that one digitally. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition is matching its previous low at $23.99 or 60% off right now. That is definitely a good price for all of that content. If you're not familiar with the series, look into some reviews on it. It is a lengthy game to say the least, but a lot of fun and really cool that it got a Switch port up to the quality that it did. Splatoon 3 matches its previous low at $39.99 right now, so 40 bucks for Splatoon 3. If you're into online third-person shooter type of games that are a ton of fun, definitely look into adding that one into your collection. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is on sale from $70 down to $52.69. However, interestingly, this is actually the European version of the game, but the Nintendo Switch is actually region free, so you can technically pick up the European version. You're just going to see a different rating, of course, in the bottom, but $52.69 for Tears of the Kingdom is absolutely a steal right now if you don't already own it. I happily spent $70 for that game and feel like it was a steal at that price point, but if you can pick it up for just over $50, it is that much better. The evolution of what Breath of the Wild was improved it in every way, shape, and form in my opinion. The different abilities you get as Link this time with Ultra Hand, Fuse, Ascend, and Recall really added so much to the world. You are revisiting the same Hyrule, but there's new skies above and grounds beneath Hyrule to explore. And Hyrule has changed a lot as well, not to mention traditional, maybe not exactly traditional dungeons, but dungeons, official dungeons are within this game. There are a lot of them. There are some surprise ones. I would definitely recommend playing through this as soon as possible if you are a Legend of Zelda fan. And gosh, maybe one of the best stories and definitely one of the best endings, if not the best, of a Zelda game ever in history. So cool to see that one discounted to 52 bucks. Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, we see that on sale a lot. Um, it is just $19.79 right now. Bioshock the Collection, $9.99. Hot Wheels Unleashed uh, is $5.99. That's the lowest price ever on it. Borderlands Legendary Collection is $9.99. That matches a previous low. So 
there's a lot of different games you can go and look through on DekuDeals.com. So I will have it linked in the description down below. For the interest of time, we will wrap up the video here with a couple last, last minute shout outs. Sonic Frontier is a great 3D Sonic installment, 50% off right now. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 matches its previous low at 80% off for 10 bucks. Death Door is a ton of fun. I super enjoyed that game, 7.99, 60% off. So lots of different discounts. Make sure you go through and check out the rest of them just because uh, we can make this game, we can make this video 40 minutes if we literally went through every single page of discounts. Some of these are eShop sale discounts. More of them on the second page are. Some of them are also physical. So you'll have to go through on your own time and do that. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited to get any new Nintendo Switch games. Maybe you're still working through a backlog and you're going to pick up some of these but not actually play through them at the moment. And what first party Nintendo Switch games do you hope we see go on sale next that you don't own today? So regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before we leave the video as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.